everybody, this is Shan in the studio, and today we're talking American sports cards. Hi everybody, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about this painting, which is a 1971 Corvette 454 that was created by Chevrolet. This is the third generation of this vehicle. It's also known as a C3. This vehicle was made between 1967 to 1982. Chevrolet actually took off a year to redesign the Corvette and resumed again with the C4 the following year. This comes in a coupe or a convertible. The one that I painted here is actually a, a 454 LS5 big block engine. It was 390 horsepower, went from zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. The cost when these were new was $5,200 for a convertible and $5,400 for a coupe. In today's dollars, that means about $32,000 to $34,000. So in comparison, during that time when this was brand new, a Ferrari cost probably about $14,000. So you're getting a lot of car for a fraction of the money. 21,000 of these were made. And a really great example of these today, as a vintage car, you're looking north of $100,000. So why do you want to paint this painting? Well, although I love the vehicle, what I liked the most really was the wheel. It reflected the surroundings around me. I happened to be wearing this shirt the day that I photographed it, so you can see some of the yellow in that. What I was drawn to was the fact it was just crazy abstract. This was a fun painting to create, but it was also quite a challenge. When I paint something that is circular, like a tire, a wheel, a headlight, your brain knows that it's circular, but when I am painting it, a lot of the times, it's an ellipse. So I tend to make things spherical and, and circular because your brain thinks that, but my eyes know that's not what it is. So when I'm painting something like this, I will often turn the canvas so that I concentrate on the shape of what I see and not what I know is really the shape. And that helps a lot. Um, I also have my husband who uh, will come in at the end of the day after work and look at what I've done all day and he'll notice, oh, you, you know, you made it spherical or you circled it or whatever. And so that really helps me when I turn it and also his advice because he's always right. Um, yeah, so this one was really fun. Um, there's very little realism actually in this one. This one has a lot, uh, this right here is a little bit of realism and some of the wording is realism, but mostly this is an abstract painting and I've had several people tell me they thought it, it, it looked real. So that was quite the compliment. So I think I, I think I did a pretty good job. For many, the Corvette is a dream car. It's a car that they've wanted when they were a teenager, had posters on the wall in their room, and they finally have one today. Uh, we're actually very lucky here in Austin, Texas. We have the Circuit of America's racetrack. And every year there is an event just for Corvettes. People come from all over the country, from older Corvettes all the way to the very newest models and they gather together, take photos, get to know each other, and it's a great way to show off your car. I'd like to thank Jeff and Kirk at Mosing Motors here in Austin for allowing me to photograph this amazing car. You guys rock. So every week I answer a question that I've gotten either on social media or from a show, and this week's question is, what's your favorite car? And I actually have two of them. Uh, one is one that I wanna buy one day, and one is I wish I could buy one day. <clears throat> Uh, this one is a vintage Chevy truck, probably early 1950s. Um, I actually painted one a few years ago uh, that I absolutely fell in love with. I loved the, the grill, how it looked like it was smiling, um, wooden flatbed. Um, thankfully, that painting is off to a collector now and it's being enjoyed with them. The other car that I would just dream about is an Aston Martin DB5. I believe it's 1964. Uh, Sean Connery drove in um, James Bond Goldfinger. It's just absolutely incredible car. So those are my two. Got a vintage Chevy truck and an Aston Martin DB5. Thank you so much for visiting today. If you like this video and you wanna see more about my paintings, my process, or the vehicles that inspire my work, don't forget to subscribe below. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or my website, shanfannon.com. Thank you for supporting the arts. Take care.